whipped cream. And, uh... Too easy. We should, too easy. This was too easy, yeah. It's not easy for you. We, <laughs> We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just gonna have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, that's not gonna be hard to do. <laughs> yeah, you know, these people gotta realize I just got out of a sick bed and came here. I know. Look, here. Folks, look, look, look at look, the crutches. Look, look here. Look here what we've got. Now, what are you doing? This, John, get a shot of his foot. Step out there, sir. Hobble right, out there. Right. This is my dog. Jack, get out of the way. Go on over there. All right. All right. This morning, I woke up, and my foot hurt a little bit, and I put it on the rug, and ooh, it hurt. A lot. I mean, a lot, like a toothache. And I called my, my good Dr. Roper, and I explained to him what I had, I mean, what the symptoms were, and he says, I think you've got the gout. So I, I had to go right to his office, and he put a needle in me right there. Oh, no. It took blood. <laughs> it took blood, yeah. Oh, no. Good. And, uh, and then he... Uh, so did Dr. Roper think you should maybe change your diet? He said to go home. No, he didn't say anything about diet. He said that, <laughs> he said that gout is, is, is only royalty gets gout. Royalty. Royalty. That's all. Only people get gout. And, and I got to tell you one thing, though. I, if you give me a shot back here. In your butt? Yes. And when I had to open my pants to, to get down so they could, you know. And I've got this big, heavy belt buckle. And it fell right on the toe. <laughs> oh, 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 it was good. So this has not been a good day, and it probably won't be any better tonight. No. Oh gosh! Well, on you are a show. trooper. On well, you know, show. we do have a couple of a couple of really neat things came in the mail. This is all our viewer mail, and well, I selected. Can I, can I can I cook while you do that? Sure, you can, can cook you while you do because that. we've got it. We've got well, a lot I to have, do. Well, I have I have to read you a couple of letters though. Go they ahead, are quick, so quick, so quick, cool. Quick. This is from Chuck and Cheryl Coldstat, and it says, Dear Barbara and John, I'm writing to you from the great northwest Oak Ridge, Oregon. I acquired a tape of your, your comical canine culinary cooking cuisine for the recipe of making dog food. The show was a big hit with all our neighbors and their dogs. We don't have a dog, but it looked so good, I made it anyway. <laughs> oh. it, you know, it's not bad. That, that is not a bad dish. That dog food was pretty good. I, Our I company it loved it yeah. with a little ketchup, and I fed the leftovers to the raccoons. So keep the kettles cooking, your faraway fans, right. Chuck and Cheryl Colstack, right. which I thought was just so nice. And then we have another letter here, which I think is, is really kind of cute. It says here... <clears throat> this is from, it says, Dear at Home on the Range. And this lady wanted our Mexican dish with enchiladas, tacos, rice, and beans. And she says, the both look delicious, and I'd love to try them. I think your show is great. Keep on cooking. And that's from Crystal Walters. Isn't that nice? So we're just getting so much fan mail. This says, hi, guys. Just wanted to let you know that I really enjoy your show. I think the two of you are great. Would you please send the recipe for Cornish Game Hens? And this is from Iona Logan. So thank you. Anyway, Terrific. keep writing to us, and we will read your letters on the air. But I have to give a plug okay. to our sponsor. Folks, you know, we have got, Barbara has got sponsors this week, lots of them. In fact, we've got so many sponsors, this dumb thing is going to go on forever, I think. But we can always use more sponsors. I guess so, yeah. Well, we can, but our main sponsor is one of your favorite stores. It's Crown Hardware. And we hope everybody will go to Crown Hardware because we'd like to stay on the air. I bought this knife at Crown Hardware. You this did? Right, I did, right there. Well, Crown Hardware has all types of locations. And when I stopped in there today, what they had, which I thought was really cool, is they had, this is a universal chopper. That's a dumb thing. Put that over. <laughs> no. Okay, then... 
How about a yogurt strainer? Oh, boy, that's worse. Oh. Well, no. Oh, that's all right. That's a good. mushroom slicer. Sell that. That's a good thing. You like this mushroom slicer? Now, we slicer? only talk about things that we've actually used on this show because they sell so many things that don't work nowadays. You know. Look at this. This is, I bet you know what this is. This is a Space Age can opener. That's a good can opener. That works. You like this? That okay, works. we can keep this but one. See the, 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 the little mushroom chopper, we already had one because I bought this in Crown Hardware several weeks ago. And it chops mushrooms great. We're going to chop some in a little while. And then this is like a really great swivel peeler. Oh, wonderful. Here, this is, put that with these. <laughs> well, I okay. thought. This but was Crown Hardware neat. really. With the exception of this stuff, they've got great things at Crown Hardware. <laughs> I mean, really. what was this? What are we? What are we? What are we making? Are we making? We're, we're going to make a breakfast. We're going to make a um, an omelet, a mushroom and cheese, and onion and what else? Bell pepper and omelet. Okay. And some fried potatoes. Now we're going to do the the fried potatoes in the microwave. We were going to do that at the trailer show when I didn't, where I didn't show up. You know. Yes. <laughs> Barbara scheduled a personal appearance, and I forgot all about it, missed it. <laughs> so we're going to do the, the fried potatoes in the microwave, and uh, uh, oh, and some with some English muffins. So it's going to be kind of a complete breakfast. Okay. But what was I going to use these onions or the omelet? Okay. All right. Stay with us. I'm right here. I'm okay. Right here. Okay. The, okay. Turn the fire see, on. Turn the fire on under the uh, the saucepan. <laughs> Barbara doesn't know which one is the saucepan. <laughs> No, ah, uh, hey, I'm getting better at this. Okay. Now, we'll put, you got fire on under there. Fire's on. That is one tablespoon full of, of uh, this is margarine. Right. It's not butter. Butter has, what does butter have? Cholesterol. The thing that you should not be eating. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, we got, we got, we got to do these mushrooms. Now, sometimes the mushrooms do really good in this thing, and sometimes they don't do so good. I think it has to do with the mushrooms. So hope tonight we're lucky. Beautiful. That's 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 wonderful. All right. Yay! All right. All right. All right. Hey, hey this here is we go. a good audience. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Look at here. <laughs> Looky here. All right. Oh, oh, oh boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. John 28 mushrooms, nothing. <laughs> But you know, last week what we did, we bought mushrooms. Oh, now pay attention, I'm talking. We, we bought mushrooms in a package that was, they were all sliced. And I thought that was a good idea. We wouldn't have to slice them. And what it was though, the ones on top were really nice, but the rest of them were terrible. It looked like they hit them with a hatchet or something. But, uh, and then you had tough mushrooms that time, remember? Yes, they wouldn't go yes, and yes. you couldn't but cut them. Yeah, after seven or eight months, mushrooms just don't keep. I don't know. It's just, uh, well, how many uh, mushrooms are you doing here? That's just right, right there. That's, that's just enough. right. Okay. That's enough. So, okay. Okay. Well, this is this is really meat. starting to. Okay. Why don't Whoa. we put some mushrooms in there? Okay. Okay. Now we'll get our spoon. Our one spoon. Well, you know, now that we have two sponsors, I think we should break here, down and buy is... a spoon. Okay. Here's a a spoon. second spoon. Now swoosh that around there, Barbara. Yeah. I think we'll put some onions in there too. Yeah. How's that? Okay. okay. We did put some butter in, didn't we? Yes, and there is butter right. in there. No, we got to put in. About two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We've got that right here. The mixing bowl off of the KitchenAid. Uh, Which mixer. you bought at Crown Hardware. Yeah. And we bought, yeah, yes, we did. I did. Crown Hardware. Yay, Crown Hardware! <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna break six eggs in, into the mixing thing here. Okay. Right. And you know you can turn the fire on under the uh, the big frying pan there. Now this is where we have trouble with our with our range. I bought this range over the telephone and uh, the burners are so close together you can't put big big pans on them. It's made by a company, Sterling. It's a Sterling range and it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can forget about Sterling as a yes. sponsor. Now we're gonna put a little salt in, in the eggs here. Yeah, just a little, gotta have salt to make things good. Why do they always do that? Whoa! Why I do don't they? know if we... I don't know if it's having not, a live audience is You know, all these idea. people eat in restaurants, and if they could see what goes on in the kitchen... But that's why they eat out so often, because the stuff's good, because they put a lot of grease and a lot of salt. And uh, 
Good for those arteries. Yeah. Now, you know what? We ought to have a little milk in there. Do we have any milk? Yes, we I think we milk, do. I think. Terrific. You got to keep swishing those around or they'll... Uh... Okay. Is our big frying pan getting a little warm? It's getting warm. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to sizzle. Okay. Should I put something in it? Yeah, we're going to put a little butter in there. Now, we've got to get that swished around there just real nice. Okay, I'm swishing. Okay. We're gonna put a I'm getting very in. good at this. We've got about four tablespoons full of milk that goes in here. All right. Did I put salt in here? Yes, you oh. put salt in there. And you know, if I had it, I'd put a little pepper in, but we don't have any pepper. Okay, well, we'll forget about that. We'll make believe. All right, all right, all right. Now. Now we're gonna put this, ooh, we gotta turn that fire way, 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 way down, just to where it's just a little thing. That looks good. Okay. How do you know it looks good? What do you know about fires? All right. Hey, I'm not the one that set the paper towels on fire, okay? <laughs> now this, you leave this alone. You don't do anything. I don't swish it or you anything? You do nothing to it. You put the lid on it. And don't even bump it. You put the lid on it. Okay. But swishing is my job. Yeah. See, now that you're getting famous, you're cutting me out of the act. I've read about people like you. Okay. Now, that cleans up good. This is the, the bowl that comes with the, with the KitchenAid mixer. That's terrific. Isn't that great? Can people see it there on the counter? The, okay. So we're done with that. Well, you know, you said when we got a sponsor, you'd buy some soap to clean these pans. You don't need soap. What do you need soap for? Now, this is our potatoes, because we're going to get our potatoes in the, uh, in the microwave. Okay. All right. Are we adding anything to the potatoes? Yes, we're going to put some... You know, now, that's where it would really be nice if we had some salt. It would be nice if we had some cooking oil, too. How about extra virgin olive oil? Well, uh, if we keep them cool enough, that'll be all right, but you really shouldn't. Because olive oil burns at a very low temperature. And, uh, but we're going to have to use it, because we don't have anything else. This We're is going to be so prepared. This is going to be a disaster. Ooh, and it's got a terrible yellow color. That's not good on potatoes. Well, <laughs> no. Now we got to get these all covered with uh, covered with oil. Ooh, with your jewelry and everything. Keeps I mean... it clean. <laughs> we should have some pepper on those, you know. But well, but this they, they, these do come out nice. Okay, now we've got to put a little salt on it. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put these in there for... There's about two potatoes, so we're going to put those in there for maybe like six minutes, okay? Okay, that's uh, good. Now, this, um... This is getting a little strange looking. Um, maybe you should take a look at this. Let's see. Boy, it's almost a disaster. You know, we needed more mushrooms. Well, we needed they more shriveled mushrooms. up to nothing. What, what did you do with them, Barbara? Did, well, have you been eating those? No. We've got to put more stuff in there. But well, we got more stuff to put in. So, But don't put on a fire anymore. Just, uh, just uh, stand by. We'll get some bell pepper and some onion in there, okay? Okay. No. I was wondering what you were going to use that for. Yeah. Do you have a name for this type of omelet? Yeah, it's an egg omelet. <laughs> I asked for that one. I really did. How are you feeling with your foot and all? Do you I think you're terrible. hanging in there? I'm just barely, I'll be glad when the show is over because it hurts. <laughs> it really does hurt. It really does hurt. If you hadn't went out and got all the sponsors, we wouldn't have to do this show tonight. <laughs> well, the now, show the, must now, be now working the, now for him. Now, the good chiropractor, doctor, what was it? Bazal, Stephen Bazal. Bazal, he should change his name. That's not a good name for a chiropractor. <laughs> okay, now start cooking them. That isn't a good name for a uh, chiropractor. But is, does he have a commercial, or how do we know where to find him? Yeah, he has a commercial. Oh, and it'll be on the show. You know, if you watched this show, you would have seen his commercial. Barbara, we don't have a cable, so how can I watch the show? <laughs> well, you know us, what? When we get another network, sponsor... If you'd get us on network, I could watch the show. <laughs> I'll tell you, the next sponsor we get, I'll Ooh, get I you just cable. Cut Ooh. <gasps> well, what can I say? This is not the knife to slice. What are these things? These are English muffins. Should we be checking this egg? Whoa! Ooh, this ooh, is ooh, ooh, Oh, that's that's. Oh my gosh! We got to slow the fire down. Isn't that gorgeous? Just turn the fire off. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Can you, can you folks see hey, that? Can, can we, we make a this? hole in this? No, you can't do it. It's got this little bubble there. Put the lid back on. Go swish that around. We need more stuff in there, I think. No, you, how much more stuff? Well, just something. It's not wet enough. We got the cheese. Butter. Yeah, butter. Good, good. It's a good audience. <laughs> good audience. More well, water. I'm glad somebody we'll in this more, audience knows how to we'll cook. Put in more extra virgin okay, olive oil. Okay, let's do that over here so we can why, see. Why would we do it here? Well, because we're. Okay, okay. Let's swish that around, and a little more butter. You know, if what, what if that was a little tomato? How would that be? I wonder. Huh? Tomato? -y? Yeah, we could put some ketchup in it. Put it back. No, I don't think so. No. Okay. No, I, I, our audience isn't liking that. Okay. I mean, I think we should go with the popular vote here. Now, we're going to put some of this. Now, this was supposed to be grated cheese, but... Uh, we couldn't find a grater. Put this in here. I think we should have put some ketchup in this. Oh, we'll put ketchup later. Boy, that looks good. But we don't have enough of it for this. Because this is a huge omelet. This is a huge omelet. Is this a serving for one? This is serving for two. Well, now, you just said you didn't have enough, and you left half of it in the, in the pan here. Well, that's because we put the other half on top, Barbara. OK. I mean, that's, that's uh... Now, this is the thing about the circulon, see? In a regular frying pan, this would be stuck, you know, but it's not stuck. We should have put some ketchup in it, you know? Well, I thought you put ketchup after, when it's in your plate. Well, I mean, so we would have had more stuff to put on top here. Oh, well, this will probably be all. I'll put a lot of cheese on it. Because the cheese goes on, and we well, put the I lid back. Well, I thought the cheese was in the middle. Well, you put the cheese on the top, too. So it looks nice when you serve it. You know, color's got everything to do with it when you're, uh, when you're uh, serving stuff. So, but I tell you, grated cheese, this is grated cheese, boy. But it's still going to, when it melts, you'll never know the difference. Now, our potatoes. Potatoes. And we've got to figure out some way to toast the muffins. How are we going to do that? How about the oven? We'll do it. On broil. On broil. We'll do it. I can't believe you're listening to me. <laughs> Didn't I slice it? I am the microwave queen, and you're asking me how to make muffins. <laughs> I thought I'd cut, you know, when I cut that other one, I cut my finger. Just a little bit of finger in this one muffin. <laughs> this is not the knife for, for muffins. Well, you know, if you buy them fork split, you just can break them open, and you wouldn't need a knife. Yeah, well, you can buy They're a little more expensive, but you I can, think it's can. definitely worth it. At McDonald's, you can buy them already cooked. <laughs> so you're buttering that. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm yeah, because, you know, things that aren't greasy are just not good. Yes, I know. I looking at your foot, I can yes. see that. All this greasy <laughs> stuff just goes right straight down to your big toe. <laughs> I was wondering where it went. Now you know what? I'll forget these are in here, Barbara. No, I'll so remember. You remember. Can you remember? Yes, I will remember. I promise. No. So we put this on broil right here. Yeah. And we got to give it some temperature. High, broil high. Okay. okay. Now where are we here? We got to chop some onion now because fried potatoes without onion is just not good. And do you want to fry those onions? Well, we, this, we do that. We do. We've got them. The potatoes are, are essentially cooked right now. Right. Because it takes a long time to cook potatoes, but in the microwave, we cooked them in six minutes. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to put the onions in, because the onions cook a lot faster. In the microwave? Yes. For maybe two minutes. Does that look good? That does. That looks oh, great. That is so good. Now, this is really for two very hungry people. This is what Don and I eat when we're on the road. Oh, isn't that lovely? Look at that. Oh. These potatoes are uh, cooked. Yeah, don't burn the muffins. They're OK. What a great audience. This is great. Now, see, these are cooked. Uh, but what we have to do is brown them, it's because they don't look like that. You know what? You're going to put those hot potatoes on my hand. <laughs> Fire just went out, I think. Oh. But I heard some popping. Um, no, fire's on. Fire's going? Okay. But something's popping. Okay, okay, God. This is a pushy audience. This should, this At least is... when you put the timer on, it just beeped. See, these potatoes. Now, we should have some, uh, some pepper. Uh, pepper. We don't have any pepper. 
You know, last, last show... You know, you would have thought with as many times as we've said it, somebody would have gotten up and gotten us. Last pepper. show, we didn't have any pepper either. What could we put on there that looks like pepper? Uh, yeah, we don't, we've got... What have we got? Well, we're getting some, some interesting comments from the audience. Yeah. <laughs> some of this stuff. What is this? This is sweet basil. What's that? Now, Barbara, the idea is to brown these, and if they're all stacked up in the stack, they won't brown, see? Muffins. 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 They're not done. <laughs> Boy. How about you know, some hot pepper? It, oh, oh, that's oh wow, that would make it. There's some red pepper. John will love it. But you know, don't doesn't the basil look kind of nice on there? What does basil taste like? I don't know. You're asking me. Get real. Italians use basil. This is hot stuff here, boy. You know, we could if we put a little bell pepper in here, they would be O'Brien potatoes. You know that? Yeah. They would be O'Brien potatoes, so why, why don't we do that? Because we just happen to have... Well, you know, I, I love this recipe. How am I supposed to write this down for people? It's like every well, gonna, move you, you make, it, you just keep adding you stuff watch to the it. Tape. No, they will be. They'll be O'Brien potatoes, which are very good. Do you know, how do they get the name O'Brien potatoes? Or should I they're, ask? They're, you know, I, I really don't know. They're Irish. But you should always know this kind of trivia well, stuff. Well, no, really, I really do know, but I didn't think people would believe me. Because remember the old movie actor, Pat O'Brien? Uh-huh. He used to go. Not he used done to, yet. He used to, Pat O'Brien used to eat in a restaurant in Hollywood called Musso Frank's. Uh-huh. And when he went in there, he wanted bell peppers in his, in his uh, potatoes. And so they put bell pepper in his potatoes, and so they called him O'Brien pota potatoes. And that's the truth. And there's nobody young enough to doubt that. <laughs> You know, that does look good. It does. That's when you good. write this recipe down, send me a copy, will you? Okay. <laughs> All right. No, okay, good. I think these muffins have had it. Yay! Now, this... Yay! now, you know, this is the important part of cooking, is to get things synchronized so they all get done about the same time, you know? That's what you really need to do. There's two of them. Well, now, like, this is how I burnt my hand the last time. Oh, that's terrific. Oh, boy, look at that. Is that a nice-looking breakfast? Tell me. 